Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Stay with us and please subscribe my channel to get update news of Elastic. The former star of When Calls the Heart was fired by Hallmark as soon as she was arrested for her involvement in the college admissions fraud. It was revealed within the past year or so that she was afraid of going to jail. However, she believed it was worthwhile to battle for their innocence, as did her spouse Massimo Ginelli. That was in spite of the prosecution's threats to put her away for a long time. You may remember that she and her spouse were charged with offering $500,000 in bribes to get her daughter admitted to USC as damning evidence that could swing the case in their favor surfaced. We reported that things appeared to be improving for them. Since that Lori Loughlin received a relatively mild sentence last week, it probably worked for her, probably encouraged by the evidence that helped their case. Lori took a plea deal, ET Online reported. They wrote, On Friday, a judge accepted the 56-year-old actor's plea deal. Her sentence handed down involved fines, supervision, community service, and two months in prison. Her husband got a longer sentence, but critics claim even that's not enough. Massimo ended up with just five months in prison. The ET Online Instagram page shared about the sentencing, and plenty of people had a lot to say about it. Some of them referred to Abby Lee from Dance Moms. She also committed a white-collar crime, but spent way longer than a few months in jail. But each case gets weighed on its merits and Lori Loughlin actually claimed that they fully believed the money went to the college. Lots of people slammed the light sentencing. But one person came up with a more neutral comment. They noted, I think the person that facilitated this transaction should be the one to go to jail. He's a greedy a-hole. Well, it was his own statement of admission that helped with the lesser sentence. But critics don't care about that. All they know is, a rich person paid a bribe and got off lightly. Regarding Lori Loughlin and her spouse, one critic questioned them, how do you feel about the students that worked hard to go that school? They mentioned that two entitled people caused others to lose their college spot. Shame on them, they continued, adding that they need to get far harsher punishments. And this, folks, is what we call white privilege, another individual remarked. Apparently, a lot more claims along these lines surfaced in the comments. White privilege was thrown around a lot. However, Felicity Huffman received a much lighter sentence than Lori. Furthermore, no one called her sentence white privilege. There seems to be a connection between the outrage over Lori Loughlin and current politics. Many discuss the injustices and lengthy punishments meted out to African Americans.